Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at a problem with no fill, no stroke rectangles that occurs with Illustrator 2018 on a PC. It doesn't seem to be happening with a Mac. I'm going to first of all show you what the problem is. So I'm going to just create an ellipse. I'm going to fill it with a color, just remove the stroke just for convenience. Now, if we wanted to create this as a pattern, I'm just going to use half the circle as a pattern because that's going to show you immediately what the issue is. Traditionally, we could create a no fill, no stroke rectangle over the top of the shape and we would actually move this behind the shape with object arrange center back. So what we have is a circle and we have a no fill, no stroke rectangle that's cutting it in half. Now if we selected this and placed it in the swatches panel, we would have a pattern that encompasses just this area here. So our pattern piece would be made up of half circles. Well, the problem with Illustrator CC 2018 is it's not recognizing this as a no fill, no stroke rectangle. So when I drag it into the pattern swatch, as you can see clearly that that's not half of a circle. And when I use that as a pattern fill, this is what I'm getting. So the no fill, no stroke rectangle is totally not being recognized by Illustrator as marking out the edges of a pattern. And that's how we used to make patterns in earlier versions of Illustrator. So it means that if you want to create a custom pattern and you want to do it the old fashioned way, you're basically in a lot of trouble in Illustrator 2018 until you can work out how to make this a proper no fill, no stroke rectangle instead of this botch job that it seems like we're getting. So what I'm doing is I'm selecting over this no fill, no stroke rectangle that really isn't. I'm going to the appearance panel. Now there's a feature here on the flyout menu on the appearance panel that is reduced to basic appearance. Now when I click that, now I have a no fill, no stroke rectangle. Don't ask me what is happening, but there's something wrong with it. I don't know what it is. I just know how to fix it. So now we're going to reselect exactly what we had before. I haven't made any changes to it except fix this rectangle. Now let's go to the swatches panel. Let's drag this all in here. And now our pattern piece looks completely different. If I select on this shape and fill it with the new pattern, that's what we're getting. What we expected to get, which is half of a circle. So if you're trying to make patterns in Illustrator 2018 and you're on a PC, then if you're encountering problems, this is the problem. Your no fill, no stroke rectangle isn't a no fill, no stroke rectangle. It's something completely different and whatever it is, it can't be used until you make it into one. And the secret is in the appearance panel. Let's just go to window appearance and with the no fill, no stroke rectangle selected, you're going to click the fly out menu and reduce to basic appearance is what you're going to click. Now I can't do that now because it's actually been reduced. So there's obviously some appearance that's being applied to that no fill, no stroke rectangle that is killing us with these patterns. Now that also happens when you create a brush because if you want to create a custom brush and have an overlap between pieces of the brush, you'll need to use a no fill, no stroke rectangle to control how the brush interacts, both the ends of the brush and also even in the middle. And so this is going to bite you there as well. Seems to only be happening on the PC. I can't duplicate the problem on a Mac, but I have been able to duplicate the problem over more than one PC. And I've also had students with the problem. In fact, they were the ones who alerted me to it in the first place because I wasn't even using 2018. But until Adobe fixes it, if you're having problems, that seems to be a problem and that's how you solve it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. You'll be alerted when new videos are released. Click the notifications button. You know the deal. You know what to do. My name's Helen Bradley and until next time, thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel.